I'm now in my 15th year as a teacher, and I love my job now as much as I did my first year, and I'm as passionate as I've ever been. However, I'm starting to think my students no longer see me as that young teacher, and they are definitely not getting my 90s references. So this got me thinking, does age or the appearance of youth affect how we view others? Is ageism a real thing? I'd like to find out. These students are under the impression that their beloved teacher is taking a leave of absence and they have to choose between two long-term substitutes. One is younger and definitely more cool, while the other is older, more experienced, and a much better teacher. Will students pick the younger teacher because, you know, he's younger? Or will they go with the older teacher who's obviously more experienced and his lesson is much better? Mr. Paul, I'll just give you a quick little background. Uh, most of these are Mr. Stragett students from okay. sociology. Some of them are my students who are gonna be kind of a neutral party. If you wanna give them a little background in your, as far as your background. Yes, I'd love to. Actually, I, I started out uh, a long time ago as a uh, elementary school teacher. And then uh, after 25 years in the classroom, most of them in kindergarten, then I became an elementary school counselor for 13 and a half years. And then I retired, but I, I thought it would be interesting to continue on to go for my doctorate in, uh, in sociology. So, uh, that's so you are actually going for your doctorate in I, sociology? I am, yes. Okay, because this is a so obviously a sociology class. Yes. So we're going to be talking about psychopaths and sociopaths today. So Why everybody look at me when he said sociopath? You don't, even know, you don't even know what it means. So you're just going to look at this. You're going to read all of these characteristics of a, a sociopath. I also sent along some videos, and I thought it would be interesting for you to, to look at these videos to see if you could determine whether or not the person in the video is a psychopath or a sociopath. Um, that's, that's my prepared lesson. All right, all right. Round of applause for Mr. Paul. Thank please. you very much. All right, so you met Mr. Paul, this is Mr. B. He'll tell you a little bit of background about himself and what brings him here too. Am I, am I okay over here? Did you send me anything to pull up? No, 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 I just I just scribbled some notes. All right, so you don't need the projector or anything? I notes on my phone and stuff. So no PowerPoint projector or no, anything? No. Okay. Uh, well, th thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, I graduated from Union High School. Um, I actually went into the performing arts and uh, actor, singer, also a house painter. So what I wanted to do today um, for my little mini lesson is I want you guys within your tables just to kind of create a list of some film, TV characters that may be psychopaths and some that may be sociopaths. And just within, within you guys, I want you to kind of talk it out. It's a nice chair. All right, so let's let's start with the center group here. What? Give me one person on your list and why. Okay. What about what about this table over here? What do you guys got? Uh, we had Megan from Drake and Josh. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. B. Would you mind uh, waiting in the hallway for two minutes sure. to start giving the follow-up instructions? Sure. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank, thank you, guys. All right. So again, pick who you think would be, who you would like most or most like to have as a teacher. We have our results. Let me read some of them. I prefer Mr. B. Mr. Paul's more professional, but I feel like I'd get bored. <laughs> Mr. B's young and more understanding. I prefer Mr. B because Mr. Paul looks like he may die at any moment. Oh! You wrote that. No, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. It doesn't say that. <laughs> Uh, for a vote of 21 to 6, Mr. Sergett's class will be taken over by Mr. B. All right? Okay, all right. Mr. Paul, you actually and Mr. B know each other very well. Yes, sir. And how is that so? Uh, Mr. B is my son. What? Ooh. So here's what we wanted to see. We wanted to do a little experiment with Mr. Sergett's class as well as others. Uh, to see if ageism is a real thing, where you tend to focus and see people and judge them based on their age because you feel more of a connection with them. And you guys kind of proved it right. Well, I learned more from Mr. Paul, to be honest, but Mr. B was the one that I connected with, only because, you know, he was young and energetic. I chose Mr. B 
I mean, I don't know why. I kind of like Mr. Uh, Mr. P more. He taught us more than Mr. B. I think subconsciously, I just chose Mr. B. Though. You know, older teachers, we don't really tend to relate because the age difference. So yeah, I did choose the younger teacher because the age mostly. Um, even though he was not even really prepared or anything, I still chose him. They all picked like the younger guy. Like they, I guess they felt like they could interact better with him than the older guy. I feel like you should get more comfortable being uncomfortable. You should be able to like interact with any type of person, no matter how old or young they are. You should still be able to interact with anybody, you know? Wow. Older teacher, amazing lesson. Younger teacher, doesn't even care. And the younger teacher gets picked. This taught me that I'm gonna continue to moisturize my skin so my students take me seriously because apparently youth matters more than knowledge. To see more episodes of Field Trip and to have your mind blown, click on the links below.